We are going to use technology for the last part of our assignment. So starting with question number five, we can use technology for this. And that is SALT. Okay, it's a abbreviation and an acronym for a tool. All right, so we're gonna use the SALT so you just click on it. It pulls up the thing that you want if you're in a question. Okay, statistic, statistical analysis learning tool. So if it says the area to the left of something, okay, that means we want to put in a z-score of negative whatever we're trying to find okay and it will give us our area if you want the left tail that means the area to the left okay if you want the area to the right of something okay you put in your z-score and you would click on right okay and the probability right here that would be your answer okay what is the difference between x and z z is a specific distribution a specific normal distribution where the mean equals zero and the standard deviation equals one okay now what if it asks for the area between Okay, so you would change it to between, and you would put in your two z-scores here. Okay, you would change your two z-scores here to the two things that you want. Okay, so what if it said between 0 and 1.7? Okay, that would give you your answer right here, your probability. Okay. X is just a special, um, no, Z is just a special distribution where the mean and standard deviation are specifically Z, zero and one. Okay, so that's what Z means, is a distribution where X is zero mean and standard deviation of one. Okay. Now, what if it does not have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one? So you would just change it, okay? So if it says the mean is 87 and a standard deviation is 28, we would put those in. And what if it says more? Then that means you want greater than, which is your right tail. Okay, more than something. Let's say it says more than 60. You would put X is greater than 60. Greater than means right tail. Okay, and that 0.83 would be your answer. What if it said less than 100? Okay, so we would do 100. Less than means left tail. Okay, if we want between, we click between over there. Okay, what about between 70 and 80? Okay, then that would be our probability. Okay, you just put in the mean and standard deviation if it's not Z. Z means the mean and standard deviation are specifically 0 and 1. Okay, our last question says we've got a mean of something. Let's say it says a mean of 45 and a standard deviation of 9. Okay. They want to refund any battery within a 30-month period. So what would that mean? 
that would mean they'll refund anything if X is less than 30 months. Okay, these are months, 45 months, standard deviation months. So what percent would that be? That would be 0 0.04779. To change that to a percent, move it two times. Okay, within the 30 month period, which means, okay, what this is, is they're gonna um, warranty their batteries. So if the battery fails within 30 months, that means less than 30 months, then they'll refund that, okay? So what's the probability that it'll be less than 30? This 0.04779, okay? Now, what about the second part? If they do not want to make refunds for more than 8%, okay, that means we want to find the months where the probability is less than 0.08. Okay, when you want to find the probability, we want 8%, so 0 0.08. We leave the X part blank, okay? We want the probability to be 0 0.08, so we put in the probability of 0 0.08. We have our mean and standard deviation. They don't want to make refunds for more than 8%. So we're trying to find what level of months is 8%. Okay. What level is 8%? And that's how we can use the SALT tool calculator for chapter six.